Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Soldanta, Alaska. Well, I hope that's how you pronounce it. With News Now Alaska. As he attempts to, uh, well, get a FOIA request form from a Alaska State Trooper Depot. Uh, but he complains about it when they have to get his information. And he says it's a Fourth Amendment violation. But what else is new? These numb nuts don't even know what a Fourth Amendment violation is to begin with. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In Soldatna. Figured I'd give you guys a new one. I've heard some disturbing things about these guys. Oh, do tell us, please, what are these nasty things that you've heard about these people? But I know you're not going to tell us. You're just going to uh, bait us the whole damn time, but never tell us what these nasty things actually are. You don't even tell them inside what these nasty things are. Which leads me to believe that you are just another lying frauditor. But please, continue on with your stupidity. Michigan, what's up? A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. Hello. Um, can I get a public records request form, please? Um, I don't have internet. <laughs> if you don't have the internet, then how the hell are you able to upload these videos anyway? And in addition, you, they tell you to go to the library here in a moment for the FOIA requests, and you're surprised that you can even do that which means you've never used the internet at the library, which suggests you're getting your internet from somewhere else. Maybe you actually have it, and you're just another lying frauditor, like I suggested before. Can I get a form? No, we don't. You, you can go to the library and get on the internet. Okay. Do we have, we don't have paper forms, do we? Don't, um, For a public records request? you provide an exact citation on the statute for that dude because I was just looking at those uh, statutes for the Alaskan FOIA requests and nowhere did I see anything about them having the uh, forms on hand at their office. There are sections for electronic requests but for what you just said I couldn't find any so citation needed dude. Well let me go see what I can find out. Okay. okay. And a complaint form if you could. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so just because they're uh, going with the rules and uh, not bowing down and clicking your boots, you're going to file a complaint. Is that what you're going to do? Typical frauditor. <laughs>
It's not a Fourth Amendment violation to ask for your name in this case. Let me ask you something, dude. You've got uh, identification cards, right? Uh, the government had to ask for your information to give you those identification cards, such as your driver's license, social security number, and everything else like that. Was that a Fourth Amendment violation, or are you just being a complete idiot at this point? It's fine. I'm doing what I'm told. It's fine? It's, I'm doing what I'm told. I I'm understand that. The parameters of the job that I have been given yeah. and the forms that I have available. Okay. So. Um, so I've been getting complaints, which is the reason why I'm here, that you guys uh, mistreat the public. Okay. Would you like to make a comment on that? No. No comment? No. Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's not going to be baited into your in attempts to create a conflict right here. So good job on her for seeing right through your BS. I'm not allowed to make any comments. There's a, okay. the officer for information is up in Anchorage if you want to get a hold of them. Okay. All right. So you guys aren't abusing people. No Troopers comment. aren't beating people up. No comment. Mason people. No comment. Ripping people out of the car. No comment. Okay. And you guys aren't denying people public records? No. We okay. have to provide those. Okay. We do, but, you know. Okay. And are you guys overcharging for public records? Not that I know of. There are not any charge other than the material of the disc, which is like 10 bucks. Okay. So. All right. Okay. I'll just give you guys a chance before I put this story out Stop. to explain your guys' selves. Because I've got a lot, of, a lot of information. Okay. That makes you guys look pretty bad. So I just want to give you guys a chance to you know, make a comment on it or not. Do whatever you feel you need to do. Okay. Well, it's not me, it's the, the, the public. They're, they're the reason why I'm here. So, okay. the residents of still okay. All right, and what was your name? No comment. No comment. Okay, can I get a business card for your supervisor, please? Uh, I am the supervisor. Okay, and you're refusing to identify yourself? Christy. Thank you. Welcome. I appreciate that. What's your position here, just curious? Uh, supervisor for the front desk. Okay, supervisor for the front desk. Yes. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Dude, all that stuff you described are things that police typically do against criminals for the most part. Sure, there are some bad cops out there. I'm not saying that. But generally, if you get sovereign citizens or anything like that who want to play uh, stupid games and win stupid prizes, sure, they're going to get maced. They're going to get pulled out of their cars. I mean, that kind of thing happens all the damn time. So I would expect those guys to complain about it, but of course they're a bunch of lawbreakers anyway, so have you got anything on people who uh, who were actually following the law ended up being pulled out of their cars or anything like that, dude? I mean, if you do, then fine present it, but if you don't then you don't got nothing, if you don't can't show it, then you don't know it well, at any rate, guys that's the end of the video and he just walks around outside for the next few minutes, barely saying a couple words. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.